Jedziemy dalej, jedziemy dalej, jedziemy dalej. Jedziemy dalej, na żywo. Edycja, wszystko jest gra dla dorosłych. To jest czy nie? Co jest? Dobra, jest. Co tu? Skrzynia. Oszmus. Czterech, sześciu, ośmiu. Przejścia. They never stood a chance. You're welcome. Ding. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Captain, two arms, two eyes, some of the cannonish at once. Oh, dear. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This may be the moment I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. Whoa. Talk, yeah? another go. Yeah. Then let's shut him up. Zapłon. 12%. Nie będę się nauczył tego. Kasiko wiedział, że był jeszcze człowiek. 
The man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Guard duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Akasha. Uh... Dobra, czy ja mogę coś yy, ulepszyć? Blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Doesn't look that far. Right. Naprawdę tak głupio? Some help. Hold on. Used to be. 
I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side, eh? At least you won't get lost. Okrzyk wojenny. Dobra, to jeszcze tu trzeba obadać. Pogoda taka dzisiaj senna. O kurde, dobra, teraz chyba mniejszych trzeba.
No już zaczynają być ci większe i twardzi, kurczę. Może być zacząć brakować kompotów. O, miecz! Place that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. Once more. Aye, seen as you're trying now. As if that was going to keep us out. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. I knew it would be big, but this... There. That's our way into the Inner Sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, stay the Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahamut ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, you started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Twenty two Acacia Avenue, like the movie, like Oh, no, them again. There's something you two want to tell Maybe later. Stay down. Phoenix Gate be here in the mines. Are the two places connected somehow?
When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Pewno boss, nie? Będzie. Where did that come from? If I had to guess. Beast. Another victim of the flood. What the? Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ready, Clive? Always. Hey! Now, Clive, look out. Too slow. Nie widzę, lecz pata moja do pałka. Oj.
Dałoś. skóra. No. You were right. Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here, we should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Yeah. If this all works, and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our gang before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice, that it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Nie pamiętam, że rzuciłem poprzedni stream na YouTube. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? With you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? See you. It's beautiful. The heart of some brack. Well, that didn't work. 
I think we're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive. Regrettably. <laughs> the core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Tyra's going to have a fit when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. I need a freight. Come to me. I can't do this without you. Tata is. Doctor. I've been here before. Perhaps I would not believe my senses. Yes, we certainly will be real world now. Will we? Sherwood, you. You again. Where are you? What do you want? Still alive. Get out of my head! 
and yours. Wręcz dystansowy unik skok.
A, może naprawił to, tak? session.
Whoa! Ha, zarobił go jak Dragon Ball. Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll... we'll find you a healer. Here? No, you won't.
I know who you are. And if you think, I'm gonna let you have him. So? Think again. Co się stało? Try not to talk. Clive, for so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you, and I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. In ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Co się stało się? I'm sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? 
I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. Oh. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors. Fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. Firaga, czy? Dalej nie mogę sprawdzić, ale mogę sprawdzić? O. No, dla jak mi to demon żyje? This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said no. Ale Fenix się chyba ultimatnie. No właśnie. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Just try and get to my brother now. Fiend. Oh, nie. I teraz on się będzie w niego zamieniał. Pewnie. To tylko kwestia czasu.
shit! Are all fucking dead! Sid, help us! Where is he? Ah, you'll do! Ah. Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. <laughs> Where the hell are you, Sid? Where the hell are you? The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, a fat suit. Feel its softness. Drop a nice steak, gift to your wife. Drop a sausage. Mm -hmm. All from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take Ciekawe, czy będzie jakieś nawiązanie. No, w oryginie było. W piramidzie pojawią się ten. These beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Piętnastki i dawał nam miecz. Zapomniałem, jak się to nazywa ten zły. A, i mieliśmy czekobosa. O, coś nowego. Medyczka. Sierota. I tu. Take interest you in a potion, milady. Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road. I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Pięć lat później. It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Damn it all. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, 
We're finished. Kto to jest w ogóle? Ten typ. Wiktor. Ludzie skały. Teraz jesteśmy w Damaszku, jak w Asasynie i teraz może spotkamy jakiegoś tego. Boże, zapomniałem jak się nazywają postacie z Asasyna, bo niedopuszczalne. Bajek, Boże, z Orydzinsa, bajek. Tam było takie największe crossover. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you. No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw! Sit here! A przez pięć lat nie nabili leveli? To jest... Come on! Krzmotu. Ustrojenie się. Przu... A... O Jezu, ja nie lubię takich ciosów. They brought a pet. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. 
with this. <laughs> They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. No ale dobra, a czy 5 lat minęło, oni się nawet o, o jeden poziom nie podnieśli? Trzeba będzie coś przykoksić, bo się potwory zaczynają robić chyba. This is where we'll stay. Zawsze być trochę mocniejszy. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. No, dali se buzi v koncu, či se ne dali? A ten pies tam ile može žít? On už má dvacetě let. Teď 
przyjdą zaczyć, że to jest rozwalone, no to... That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want, and that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. To jeżeli tamten walczył tam z jakąś ultimą i go pokonał, to takiego ultima zawsze jest najpotężniejszy. A kto to był? Otton. Pamiętam. A, tu jest. Otto will want to know what happened in Cosmos. I expect he'll be in the mess. Nie pod... 5 lat minęło, nic w ogóle, nie? Ej, I teraz tak, tego Ifrita, bo teraz to nawet mogłoby być dobre. Ale to... To nie wiem, czy to będzie takie dobre. Rumuna dostrojono. Teraz co tu jeszcze mam do wyboru? Nie, tak, to jest...
też mam do wyboru. A, tą kulkę. O, to jest dobre, ale drogie widzę. To jest zrównoważony. Ten jest głównie widzę na damage. To jest dobre. Na razie sobie to opanujmy. Czemu na przykład... Aha. Ah, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. And not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet yeah, this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. I learned something new. You'll be the first to know. Now off you go. I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, mm. recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, 
while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor. Oh, really? A nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the twins. The non-aggression treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Hmm. You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. A ona co ma do powiedzenia? Here for another of my lectures. No? One would think. No tego nie mogli dokręcić. My beloved homeland. Or at least it was. <sighs> Allow me to educate you. Oh. Sytuacja w Krainie. Wolec wiem w pomieszczeniu kartograficznym w kryjówce. Klek może z sytuacją dowiedzieć się więcej. Okej. Okay. Ale czemu to służy? Mapa sytuacyjna. No to było, no. A.
a to? Of course. Very good. Czyli taki dziennik to jest w formie mapy. Does that one have blood on it? And what can I do for you? We won't hear me complaining. The only drawback. Still. No. I remember it like it was yesterday. <sighs> You're our leader now, Clive. Oh, ja na dalej ostrzegaj. Elixir. A, za drogi jest. It better all be here. Finished, are ya? If you told me you could fire a forge without a crystal or a bearer before I came here, I'd have taken you for a madman. But no. I got ya. Uh, things you ain't too bad. Nah. <laughs> You've forgotten already, because I haven't. Still. Czy możesz panie coś ulepszyć? 195 Aha, czyli nie możesz pan nic ulepszyć Mogę sobie tylko zrobić lepszy miecz No bad, if I do say so myself Oh, 
tak, takie są te. Nie mamy innych. Dobra, będziemy zbierać, tak? Pamiątki. A gdzie jest? Aha. Hippocrates. Now that is a name I had not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ready. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. You're not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nicks him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. Like you might have stopped. The twins seem well. I. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them, however well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night, from some more than others, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Well, no. My knowledge is yours. Look around you. Still. Why? It has been difficult, certainly. Had you not led us here? I still remember. And thank goodness they did. some new entries, if you would like to see them. Uh, if you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it.
Eh. Oh. Coś przegapiłem. No. You are always welcome, Clive. Got some cover, who can only make it in the form of new weapons. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. I don't think I've ever thought worthy of a letter. Nema tego co questy zostawia? No nie ma. Once the hall swept, it's over to the tavern crowd. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Biurko, raporty listy, nie ma że... Na biurko. Okay. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted. We might have achieved so much more, but each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. 
This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. Napijmy się. Without mother crystals, to sit. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Hmm. Master Clive, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just... Discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. <sighs> what would make Martha leave the rest? No czego, tak? No, to jest tylko... Something has happened to Martha.
What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of Cursed Breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Have you finished sorting those reports yet? Finished? I ain't started. Been busy enough with my own work. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? <gasps> Otto's gonna sting me alive. And how may I assist you today? What is it that you wish to learn? I have the details here. No, czy to nic się nie dowiemy, to bez sensu jest tam i tu. Zadanie niby dodatkowe. Damn blighty bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tet does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well... Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. 
Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curl Tail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain. Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. 
Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as my old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. No, zwiększa tak o 12. O, to może być lepsze już. Eee... Gdzie to się zmienia? Zwiększa tak o 7. No. no i gitara. To będzie 600. To będzie 600. A zbieramy na to. No dobra, to zbierajmy. Yy, gdzie to było? Nie, to są te te. Panie. Chyba nie walczyłem jeszcze. Tu byłem w takim miejscu? Potworki trzeba podobieść. No mało expa to chyba nie jest najlepsze miejsce. Ja! 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 
Raptor. Bardzo słaby eks. Gdzie jestem w ogóle? A. Lipa to jest. Zobaczmy to. Aha, czyli... Gejutki. A Bordel Baba nam coś powie? How can the veil serve you today? The realm may have changed. I will admit. I fancy yours, meanwhile. Before there was a North Reach. But...
Not everyone left the capital. In a few short, the veil does what it can. Naprawdę, to jest po prostu taka motorka. No, to tam muzyka z horroru. Ja sobie pozwiedzał, tu nie łaziłem. O, tam nie byłem. Jo, i nie ma góry już. Toż 15, a nie, to już mało, 21. Co tam jest?
the same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working though. Chyba trzeba będzie fabułę jednak po, po dalej. Chyba to muszę sobie zrobić. Co mam kupić? Zwiększa liczbę zdobywanych punktów zdolności w zwykłych starciach o 20%. No. 20% to już jest dużo, nie? Mi się wydaje. Kupmy to. I trust it's all here. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. A, przepraszam, to jest sprzedanie. Te, te pierdoły. Here's what we agreed on. We never have too many. Here's what we agreed on. Good day. Oh, jak myśmy się teraz ubrali. Tam zbieram. I co jest? E, bo to w ogóle nie tu. Znowu dostali, znowu dostali w ciry. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical. Sid, what said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help, and it appears he was right. You were, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials descended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrow. It's Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. 
But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. się gotuje dotrzeć do opactwa What in the world is going on? Lads from the garrison all poured in so Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. What are you after? Maketes coming this corner. Yeah, yeah. Obliged. Kupiłem jedną piosenkę za 20 Worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Not all creatures. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. A tu ostatnio nie patrzyłem w ogóle. Poprzedni raz. Nic tu nie ma. To nic nie straciłem. A, za jest! I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. What? Well, I'm going to go a minute. Dobra. Herbata jest wafelek nawet. These two aren't turned. Ah, that bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemy is a serious offence. Oh, 
It's a shame. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. Nie wiem, czy się napić herbaty, czy... Ania! I think so. No to co to jest? I nie wiatru. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Tak? Ja myślałem, że tamten to jest. A on sobie siedział w chacie. The Abbot. No, no jednak nie. died protecting him calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies Clive he's breathing oh we're friends of Martha we're here to help are the Imperials dead they are every last one Told me that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The colors will continue. Rosaria will never be safe. Yes, we save. To beg his aid and her. This wasn't her fault. I, I shall. Sim, where are you? Sim, in here. We found a survivor. Goodbye, yeah. Clive. Oh. He's gone. I'm ready, Herbatka. The drink of. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bears. Just now, go. Charne tarcze. Cesarzowa Anabela. Mamusia. They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials as she and the Abbot could escape. 
I've gathered the bearer's remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. No co to są te punkty zielone? Gdzie? No, dobra. O, no tak by jeszcze nie było. W tej części oczywiście. Co to jest? Znane potwory. Co jakiś czas Clive napotka większe, szybsze grzęczne stworzenia od pozostałych. Pokonanie zagwarantuje mu nie tylko renomę, Rzadkie materiały do stworzenia nowego wyposażenia w kryjówce z moglem nektarem. A o tablica łowiecka. No i super. Co to jest? O! Jest. 
No. He didn't see that coming. Nie, to teraz może zrobić się ciekawie. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Może do krajówki jeszcze nie chcę. With that sword of yours, of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, the question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. 
They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were, too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Go on, then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. White feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. You cornered feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
A to jest ten nasz chyba. You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her boy? That's gone. It couldn't be. No. Yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would. And the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mound. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Uh, um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. No, oh. będziemy teraz mieli transport. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. You hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? And... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Well, must have been, eh? <laughs> That'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take.
Take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Zdoba w komnatach, aha. Po 18 latach przytrzymaj. A jak się to? Fly Ambrosia. O. To jest kot. Ale teraz tak, bo tutaj. Straight home now. No, dobra. To wrócimy do bazy. Should be back by now. On autumn's breath, ill tidings born, an erstwhile home in twain are torn. Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. 
While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath near Ironholm. Well, Ash, yeah. Drake's Fang in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine in Walud. And Drake's Tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then! <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? O, będziemy mogli w końcu popolować on te, te? Bo to bym to chciał to zrobić, tak? Raporty szef. No dobrze. What are we waiting for, indeed? Teraz co możemy zdać? Do... A, to jest... Dobra. Dobra. Czyli najpierw do... do pokoiku. I think it's all right to touch him. Hey. I don't know. You go first. Przejrzeć raporty. Ech. Czyli pewnie teraz dopiero się gra zaczyna. Aha. A, można się zbliżyć. Dobra, czyli tak. Transport mamy, bazę mamy.
So Mathers all right. Yep. Others weren't so lucky though. What's the matter, Nectar? Nectar. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. No to przecież spytałem się. I don't think so. Czyli jest jeszcze w ogóle inny kontynek. Wejrzyj, tablica. Tablica owiecka. Coś podobnego jak w 15, nie? Polowania na te, te... Anioł śmierci. A, ale... Aha. Belfegor. Czyli ten już potężniejszy, to to powinno być podobne. Sabrek i złamana rękość Clairview, coś tam. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has a toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Yeah. Business is busy. Still. Words are immortal. Come to claim your just desserts. Wykonując zadanie poboczne. Renome.
Aha. Mam 55. There you are. Aha, czyli się nie, nie odejmuje. Zostanę będzie przy 85. Ile? Sto, nie tyś. No, lepsze. Best of luck out there, Sid. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Oh, same old. So, uh... Ooh. And Sid? But he's still with us too. Here you go. Dalej nic nie masz do To po cholerę. Ah, my favorite pupil. What is it that you wish to learn? Study it well, Clive. The state of the realm is evident. And how may I assist you today? <sighs> of course. Dobra, tu gdzieś był quest. I... That room's as ragged as goat locks. I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. To jeżeli to jest quest, to czemu on nie nadał? Think it's all right to touch him. Those men didn't hurt Martha, did they? Możemy coś ulepszyć? Life. I'm saying for you, dear. Lipne kowal z ciebie. Open to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh yeah, it's just well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. This tun here pulls the black from the lake water and renders it clear. You'll have to ask me if you want to know how it works, though. <laughs> mm. A 
co Ata zmarła, ta zginęła, co była w tej pierwszej bazie mu pomagała. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Przynieś jabłka, przynieś talerze, przynieś ten jabłko. Martel. Now where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Cool she was. An odd sort that one. Love plants more than people. I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Please take me back. I haven't seen a hardaway apple since. <laughs> Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martel livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. <sighs> keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martels, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh! And uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Yeah, chill. Curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. 
They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? No i dobra, i teraz tak. A wiem, że to mam tam, to jest nie bez, tam bez znaczenia. I co, nie mogę? Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kubka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. face it together then to the end come on how far do you think your mother's reach extends Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Mapa pokazuje. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What 
business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the Miller's son? All right. I heard you the first. No, I ain't got much, but what's mine is yours. For a price. Uh... Are you well? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Some Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black oh. shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. There was a time my husband might have stood up to those men. Word is, poor Isolde's closed her door. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields, just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think they was a black shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the are sending nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. How'd you get it? But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceween's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pool. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... 
It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. O! Upadli! Zaloty! Ever since the Apollo Tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking me? The Mother Crystal's collapse? I have an idea. We can get to like it. More of my mother's men.
Alright, tough. Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords... Oh, ja, no, nie przeżywaj, chłopie, tak dawaj, chodź. Say that again. Skarata go. Nie stanowią wyzwania. Coś nowego? Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? Why you? We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. They await you in Ordil. Guardians of the Flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Ale przecież ja mogę chyba zresetować. Bo... Zaraz, teraz tak. Zdolności. A, zresetuj wszystkie. To nie, to tak nie chcę. Co mi z tego, że tu mam...
find something, boy. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. Should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Fort Isolde. Ambrosia won't help me here. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Fly, Ambrosia! No need to ride from here. I did, Mummy! I could hear him shouting from down the road. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. The Empire would have us live in the Deadlands. Ambrosia won't help me here. Hmm. Not here. Come on. Faster.
Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. The Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Be safe. Through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure, well, the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. It's luster. Not abandoned then. Oi, visitors. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Albuina.
I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And oh. he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. Nie poznajecie się? The blessing of the phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. <laughs> we can speak inside. Przeżył. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together... Form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Why? Oh the foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but... She wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord.
I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Ale ma wszystko chyba co? We'll show them the fire in our Allow me to tend to your needs, my lord. Czterdzieści? To kupmy tego za tysiąc. Albo pięćdziesiąt sztuk po prostu. A. As you wish, my lord. Kompoty są. Cztery. It has been an honor. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host of their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough. Now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Członkowie podczas głowy... We'll keep them from the bridge. May the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Faster! your command my lord what is now go now told you we bear a message for the vicerine from the guardians of the flame ha <laughs> You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Die along with your flame! For Azaria! For Azaria! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Bloody hell! Reinforcements from the far bank! Another wife and to fight their battles for them. Dragons. Worms. They 
stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point, that this land is in dire need of cleansing. <laughs> left to keep them occupied. We need to finish this. We need to finish him. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud! My, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. Think we should fall back to Port Azolda before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord.
And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need... I know. Go on now, my lord. Accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess. My uncle believes we're impostors here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. the infectious flax wench e even in death must thou plague me still very well I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more bravo uncle 
You're still the finest matter in the twins. <laughs> oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> You always were fond of that scene from The Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. Uh, see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. Until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. 
Because once they learned that the lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Jak mamy robić te poboczne i te zlecenia, jak ciągle nas blokują w fabule? I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, Will the monster cease to be? Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Ah. <sighs> Founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Dobra, tu kończymy i będziemy kontynuować dalej, bo już prawie pięć godzin.